Hi there, welcome back. Most DevOps use VS Code to manage their code assets. The problem with this is somebody is working on one laptop, another person is working on a PC, and the code is scattered. What we want is a common solution where everybody can log in with a different laptop or a different PC and work on the same code base. This is particularly useful when you're working with Jenkins or whether you're working with Kubernetes manifests, whether you are working with Ansible playbooks. All these valuable assets can be scattered across different laptops and computers. What we want is a common place to keep all these assets and to manage and edit all these assets. Why do we want to self-host VS Code? This gives you access to your development environment from anywhere via the browser. We will have an isolated environment with easy management of dependencies and configurations. This will give us scalability and portability, allowing us to easily replicate and scale our setup with Proxmox and Docker. Here is an example of what we are looking at. We are running this from the browser, and yet it looks exactly the same as when we run it from our PC computer. Without further ado, let's get our hands dirty. The instructions for this video can be found on our blog. Please have a look down below for the link. We begin by creating an LXC container. We've already done that. And then we've already installed Docker in here as well. And we've made this self-starting. So all we need to do is go into the console. As you can see, we've already logged into our console. First, we will create a folder to keep our Docker Compose file and our .env file. Make directory forward slash opt forward slash stacks and forward slash code, code server dash p. So that's the command that creates us our folder. And in my case, I won't get error messages as that already exists. Then you go to that directory. Now that we are there, we will create the .env file. We need to go to the instructions on our blog. We are referring to this section here. And copy this. Now we are going to run this command. In our case, we have already created this as we needed to test the software before we made the video. In your case, you will then just paste the code in there, Control, Control V to paste. I'm not going to do that, as I don't want to break what I have working. And then you will say Control S, Control X. After that, we need to create the Compose file, the Docker Compose file, we use the modern format, which is compose.yaml. So this is the command you run, nano compose. Again, we go to our blog page and we copy this part here. Copy. Enter. As you can see, it's already there. In your case, it would be empty. And you would go here and say paste. I'm not going to break our server, so I'm not going to do that. But then Control S, Control X. Now that we've done this, we are ready to start the server. The command we run is docker compose up, but you need to use dash D. We want to be in detached mode. So this is the command you run, docker compose up dash D. In your case, it will first download the image, then it will create the container, and then it will start it. We have provided a link in our documentation where to open this in your browser. 
So in your case, it will be your server IP address colon 8181. In our case, it will be this. The first thing you need to do is to select your theme. I like the dark theme. VS Code is a nice dark theme. You are now given a choice to add extensions. We will do this later. And done. Language extensions. And market is done. This is a wizard where you will set your requirements. Now that we have done that, we are now ready to code. Let's create a new file. And press enter. And now we can start coding. This is very nice for Ansible, as you can create all your Ansible projects in here. As you can see, this was a very simple installation to do. It created you a code IDE or editor where you can manage your code projects. It's like Ansible code, Jenkins code, Kubernetes manifests, Helm charts. Now that we have this, you have everything you need to work online. We trust you found this interesting and useful. Please give us a like. Please subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. And with that we say, Grazie mille a ami, buona nota, se fcaristo sin aderfe, baie danki tot sins. Domo arigato tomadachi, Sayonara.